Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sequoia. If you are new, thank you so much for joining. I have for you guys today another empties video. So this has kind of been my new empties basket. I kind of went through a lot of things, but some of them were sample sizes, so that's why there's probably kind of a lot of stuff in there, but let's just go ahead and jump right in so this video is not too long. If you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, first things first, we'll get into the wipes. So I went through one pack of the Simple Cleansing Wipes and two packs of the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Wipes. So I went through more of these than the Simple only because I more frequently purchase these. I kind of like them a little bit better than the Simple ones. I kind of find that they have a little bit more saturation to them. So that's what I really like about the Garnier ones. But I do enjoy the Simple ones as well. They're both very affordable. So, I mean... It's just kind of a preference thing, but I kind of prefer the Garnier ones a little bit more. So I went through three packs of wipes and I would repurchase both of them equally. I like them, but I would repurchase this before I repurchase these. So yeah. And then another simple item that I went through as well is the simple. This is the micellar cleansing water. This is another one that I like. I pretty much use this only when I run out of the wipes. I find that it's just a little bit more work than what I'm willing to put in to take off my makeup. Like a wipe, you just take one wipe and there you go. You know, your makeup's off, you're done, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. So I typically only use this when I run out of wipes. But I have repurchased and I would repurchase. And as you can see, I am nearly empty on this one. So, I mean, it is a frequently used product. I do enjoy micellar waters. I think that they're great for taking off makeup. It's just a little bit of extra work. So if you want to pick up a cotton swab you know, wet it, wipe it up. Like, I just feel like I go through more cotton wipes and also it's just, it takes longer. And sometimes you're just lazy. You just want to get your makeup off, wash your face and be done. So that's one thing. But yes, I really do enjoy this. So another item that I went through is by the brand Botanics, my favorite toner. This is their 100% organic with rose water refreshing toning spritz. It's for all skin types. I really love this. You can find it at Target. I think it retails for $10. I have bought this in the past and I would repurchase it. It. I do enjoy using it you know to toner right after you cleanse you spritz it all over your face so I mean it's just a refreshing spray I don't find that it makes my skincare better but I don't find that it makes it worse it's just a nice little extra step to put in I haven't repurchased this yet but I have before so it's a good product if you're really into toners I do highly recommend this I have two sprays that I went through I have the Maybelline their master fix wear boosting setting spray and then I also went through I don't know how to say this brand the Eau Thermal Avene Thermal Spring Water so I really really loved this i loved this so much i liked the fact that it just gives you like the most fine amazing mist on your face i don't even know if this is exactly a setting spray i kind of use it as a skin prep and a setting spray and i just loved it i it just literally was so refreshing i think i got this in ipsy and i just kind of used it however i felt like it and i really enjoyed it I believe this is sold at walgreens i'm not sure where else they sell it but the actual size retails for $18. So this is a product that I'm kind of debating on whether or not I want to repurchase. I love the mist on it, which makes me want to repurchase, but I don't, but it doesn't really have any makeup benefits to it. I just kind of liked how it felt and it was really refreshing because the Morphe setting spray kind of seems very similar to this. I want to try that one. So comment down below if you have tried the Morphe setting spray, the Maybelline Master Fix. Um, I've had this for a while. I enjoy it. I like the mist on it. And one thing I didn't like about it was the smell. It kind of has a very awkward smell to it. I don't really know how to explain it. If you've tried it, you know what I mean. I've heard other YouTubers or other people say that it has a very off-putting scent as well. I mean, it's nothing to keep me from using it. I don't know if I would specifically repurchase this again because I have other setting sprays that I like a little bit more. It's a good setting spray. It's drugstore, so it's nice, but I think there are slightly better drugstore setting sprays like the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I think that one's way better and has a great mist. So this is just something if you're really into Maybelline and you really want to support their brand, it's definitely something to try. But you know, it was a good product, but I'm not sure exactly if I would repurchase it again. All right, so I have four mascaras for you guys today. Two of them are full size and two of them are samples. Starting off, I did finish the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is probably my second favorite or I don't know, it's hard to say. This one is definitely in my top five 
high-end mascaras. I absolutely love this mascara. I love the wand on it. I love the fact that you get like just this really defined voluminous lash. I absolutely love this mascara. It's definitely amazing. It's by my favorite high-end makeup brand. I love Tarte so so much so it's just awesome that they have such an amazing mascara. It's definitely a repurchase. I actually have a sample of it so I don't necessarily have to go out and repurchase it yet but I definitely will. Another mascara, I've talked about this a thousand times. I'm not gonna go into it too much, but this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is their original, not the Lash Paradise, but I'm obsessed. This is the best mascara at the drugstore, period. But L'Oreal makes bomb mascaras. Like, I find it very comparable to this mascara, to the Tarte Mascara. I'd say that they're similar in the sense that I get the desired result that I'm looking for on my natural lashes. So that may just be a preference thing. Some people may disagree. It's kind of up to you how you see it. But I find that um, these three work really well for my lashes. The Urban Decay Perversion Mascara is probably my number one high-end mascara. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. The full size I believe is 22, but I tell you the wand on this is like perfection. It just has so many bristles. If you can see, it is just like it's almost a little rough, but you get such a thick, like, I don't want to say thick because that sounds kind of gross, but you just get such volume and like it's so black that your lashes really just pop. Love this. I'm freaking obsessed. Probably another one on my top five is the It Cosmetics Superhero. This is a sample and I ended up getting another sample, so I haven't bought the full size, but I totally would. This is another one that has a wand that I really like. It's a little bit different than those. It's a little longer and the bristles are shorter, but I still find that it really builds up my lashes beautifully. I absolutely love all of these. 100% repurchase on every single one. I'm just completely obsessed with mascara, so yeah. Oh my goodness, I have another mascara to talk about. Ah, this is a Too Faced Better Than Sex. Do I need to say more about this? Definitely in the top five. It has, I love the wand. It's very similar. Well, I guess you could say The Lash Paradise is very, very similar to this one from what I've been hearing. This is an amazing mascara. Definitely a purchase product I would definitely buy. It's $22, so it is a little bit more pricey. If you're not into pricey mascaras, if you don't think it's worth it, I definitely say L'Oreal is the way to go. They, like, really hands down kill it in the mascara department but i mean it's too faced it's amazing i definitely recommend trying it if you're into higher end mascaras it's definitely one of those for the books top five for sure all right so let's move on to brows i ran out of yet another nyx micro brow pencil i can't even tell you how many times i have repurchased time and time and again this one was in the shade espresso this is my favorite shade if I need it and they don't have this shade, I will go for black. I just have to be a little bit, you know, lighter with it. But this is definitely my, this is my top brow pencil. But I've also been finding that I've really been loving the H&M one, even though I don't know what shade I have. It's great. I love it. And they're very similar in that sense. So this is just my go-to. And then another brow product I went through was the deluxe size of the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. And surpri I'm surprised at myself for going through this. So as you can see, it's one of those brow pencils that have a slant to it. And to be perfectly honest, it's not one of my favorite type of brow products. I didn't like it for precision. It's not one of those type of brow pencils. I would use this to outline my brow and then I would use this and just kind of flick upward and fill the brow in. And I found that it worked really great for that. I don't know if I would necessarily necessarily repurchase it again. It was a good product, but I can do without because I can do all in one with just a brow pencil like this, but I wanted to use it. So I did that, but I will say I want to purchase their precisely my brow, hence the word precisely. So I definitely want to try that, but um, this is a good brow product. It's definitely something, you know, I would recommend if it's the type of brow pencil you like. If it's not, then I wouldn't recommend it. I ran out of the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Studio Concealer and this is definitely 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 one of the best drugstore concealers out there. I love it. The coverage spot on. It's very creamy. It's very lightweight but it gives you the right amount of coverage that you need. I've been through so 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 many of these just like just like their brow pencil like hundreds. I can't even count. I've been through so many. So it's definitely repurchased. It's already, I already have another one here in my drawer. It's one of my favorites. I love it. It's probably actually my favorite drugstore concealer. And the last product is by Smashbox. This is a sample size of their primer water. This was like my travel buddy. I have this in my makeup bag because you know sometimes throughout the day if you have dry skin like me you just need a little refresher you know. And um, 
it's almost like this. It's almost like this spray. It's not bad, but it's not anything special either. I would say this is probably really good as a skin prep to really fresh, give your skin a nice, fresh, hydrated feel before putting on makeup. I may repurchase it. It's kind of pricey, $36 for the full size just for water. I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth that much. The sample size is only $16. So, I mean, if it's something you want to try out, I definitely say opt for the sample size first. And if it's something that you're not into, then don't get it. But I don't find that it prolongs my makeup. It's just more of like a refreshing thing. So that's why, I, you know, that's why I bought it. I used it because it was a good size and it was just a very nice fresh feel through like hot days or when my skin felt really dry. I thought that this was amazing for that. So yeah, that's basically it. Those were, yep, those were all of my empties. I went through quite a few things, a lot of mascara surprisingly. So yeah, those are the products that I would either recommend or not recommend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below some products that are that you have just cleared out time and time again that you just really love I'd love to chat with you guys about it if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you stay up to date on all my videos sorry this video is a day late it was just one of those weekends but yeah that's all I have for you guys today also follow me on my social media I will leave it here for you and I will see you guys in my next video bye